Hey mom, hmm. five rules for women in relationships. Number one, never fully give yourself to a man. That is the worst advice. If you're in a committed relationship, you're married or whatever it is, you're supposed to give yourself fully to your husband just like he's supposed to de devote and give himself fully to you by taking care of you, paying the bills, protecting you and all, all of that. All of that, never give yourself. This is what leads to this independent thought process that a lot of these women have. And you look at her, pay attention to her hands. She doesn't have a ring on her married finger. She's probably married to that girl's dad, probably divorced him and all of that. So pay attention and listen for the for the uh, codes that come in what she says. Two, take care of yourself first. Then take care of yourself first. That means take care of me, not my husband, not my child, not my children. Take care of me first. That's selfish. That's self-centered, and it's really narcissistic, to be honest. Others. Three, if something hurts you in the relationship, say it. That I agree with. If something definitely hurts you in a relationship, say it, get it out. Don't think people are mind readers. That's the only way that you can resolve it. Four, you should have time for self-development. Time for self-development. That's basically code for time for girl's trip, time for uh, happy hour, time to do whatever they want to do to be free, to act like they're single. That's what that means. It's not like these women are going on some kind of retreat by themselves, going to the beach, sitting at the sand by themselves, reading a book, going to a spa by themselves, or, you know, going to Barnes and Noble, sitting down, reading a book, working on self-improvement or something like that. It has nothing to do with that. What it is, is freedom to do whatever it is that they want to do. That's what that means. It's independent independent from men if you want to be independent from men don't be in a relationship just be by yourself and hang with your girlfriends and y'all go do that it's a whole bunch of women out there right now that are single that are doing the exact thing because they listen to garbage like that Five, you must have financial independence oh thank you financial independence again there's that word independence See, women are stuck on this independent thing. They want bet the best of both worlds. They want to be independent and they want to be in a relationship. If you want to be independent, then be independent and be by yourself. This ties into that. Be independent. Have your money. Because see, women live in this world of what ifs. What if this happens? Or just in case this happens, I have to be prepared. But you have to understand as a woman, the more independent you become, the less likely it is that a man is going to want to stay with you. Why stay with a woman that wants to be independent? If you heard men walking around constantly saying, I'm an independent man, the first thing women will think is, well, shit, he don't need no woman. He's independent. Good. Ladies, I'm going to tell you, stop listening to horrible advice from women like this. And sadly enough, it's older women giving younger women advice. Like I said, she's probably divorced that guy, hurt that 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 daughter's uh, uh, father. She's probably now out there in the dating pool and all of that. And this is something that we see in the West a lot. And my question is, if all this shit that you hear these women say like this is is working, then why is everything broken? Think about it. If all of this stuff was true, then why are women have, having such a hard time finding relationships? People having a hard time finding relationships in general. Why is that? 